tubular. <laughs> and I took a picture of the list and sent it to him because I saw he was at Costco and he got one thing on the list and it was bananas. What should we do? I know, I'm all nervous. All right, Rachel, what do you think? <sighs> She's scared. scared. <laughs> and uh, look, he just laid down for us. We got to pet him. and I went to the grocery store. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's stop here for just a second and let me do some explaining. So this is Ryan, our youngest son. He lives in Florida. I live in Florida, but I work in Maryland. I had just returned from Maryland and poor Ryan didn't have any food in the house. You'll find out why in a minute. Ryan's been living here for a bit of time with no groceries. Yeah, so I've had yeah. to get really creative. But <laughs> I can't say no, we had stuff in the freezer and that kind of stuff. Yeah, but like, it was, it's, it's about time, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> we'll tell you what happened, and it, we'll, we'll tell what about dad, what dad did. Well, dad went to Costco, like, the mecca of he came back shopping. down to florida like two days ago yeah and i sent him the i wrote a list on the whiteboard in the pantry and i took a picture of the list and sent it to him because i saw he's at costco and he got one thing on the list and it was bananas <laughs> wow thank you so, so he comes for back that. for food with ryan it's bananas and elbow macaroni yeah literally that's it he's that's like that's what you can eat so we're here we got eggs and toast and tortillas and pancake mix ham cheese some vegetables or some fruits. Sweet potatoes, yeah. milk, eggs, applesauce. Applesauce, tomato soup. You're gonna do great. All right, here we go. Hey, it's totally tubular. <laughs> It's like a joke. Okay, so you guys, the last time you saw me, I was with Brian. We stopped at home for, or I flew home to Florida last night, stopped in for a quick night and got, did some grocery shopping, got a little birthday gift, and now we left Ryan. He is going, where's he going? Oh, he's going camping with his friends. And Mike and I are heading over to Orlando for a surprise birthday party for our friend Jeannie. So, and it is an 80s party. So what do you think so far? Do you like our outfits? It's another decade in which to excel. <laughs> it is another decade in which to excel. All right, I even did my makeup like 80s, except I don't have any blue eyeshadow, but look, look at that. Remember when we used to put eyeliner like all over? You think? But I talked to my mom and she's like, how do you even remember what you wore in the 80s? I'm like, oh mom, I remember. I, do <laughs> I totally remember. I, I, I was saying to Mike, I had like every color of these. Is that a little headband? <laughs> but actually I had headbands, but I also had just the um, just the the lace, like it would tie around my head and then tie it in a tie. I got these, <laughs> these are not vintage 80s. I got these for our 1970s um, disco party that we had at the Outer Banks last year. And we used days, those. Bro. Thank you, 80, I'm telling you, 80s is where it's at. Let's head on back. Let's head on back to the 80s. I would, in a heartbeat, I would. You guys, put, comment below a, what could you comment below if you are an 80s, if you're an 80s baby, if you grew up in the 80s, comment a microphone. Yeah, a microphone. Mr. Yeah. Microphone. Hey, hey baby. Hey, hey baby. That gets you in a little while. <laughs> the 80s were the greatest. My favorite thing about the 80s was I love the style and the music. Mario Speedwagon. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Cyndi Lauper, Madonna, Whitney Houston, Michael Jackson, of course, and Prince, my two favorites. So I have, I'll show you my outfit when I stand up. Um, but I bought this online. I actually owned the skirt. I'm embarrassed <laughs> to say a little bit, not really. But um, that's real. This the skirt is real. <laughs> yes. But look, I've got the gloves, the whole nine yards. Like I literally dressed like this <laughs> back in the day. So fun. All right, everybody. He's gathered. Everybody's gathered here at the party. We're very excited. Jeannie and Chris just pulled in. Everybody's gonna hide. This is very exciting. We're gonna scream surprise. Here's Jeannie and Mike, and Jeannie's husband, Chris, was Mike's roommate in the college program in the mid-80s. Chris was the best man in our wedding, and our families have stayed close ever since. I don't know. What do you think, Mike? What should we do? I know. I'm all nervous. Wait. Here's Mike and I in our costumes. Wait. We have to get a picture of you and I, too, so put it in there. Oh, <laughs> there's Justin. He doesn't really normally look Chris. like that. I know. <laughs> I'm all nervous. Hi, Melissa. How are you? You're so for over 40 years and it's such a joy to celebrate all of these things with her especially her birthday 
And this is the other mic and Kathy, Jeannie, Sue, my mic, and me. And we're missing Karen and a few other people. But we've been friends for four decades now. It's crazy to think about. And finally, Chris toasting the birthday girl, Jeannie. Ready? Ready? Oh, yeah. Happy birthday. Orlando, I had to get my Disney Springs fix, so we stopped in for some Starbucks. Remember in the beginning of the video when I told you that Ryan couldn't get groceries? Well, this is why. He accidentally backed my car out of the garage with the driver's side door open. Our party was over, so it's time for me to go back to Maryland, not only to work, but also Brennan's girlfriend, Rachel, was still spending the weekend. So I wanted to get to see her at least one more day before she left. Butter or vinegar? Ooh, butter, please, would be yeah, amazing. Yeah, Thank you so minutes. much. No problem. All right, Rachel, what do you think? Uh, she's scared. <laughs> <laughs> the last of the Rachel and Brendan, we didn't even like say all the things that they did uh, while they were here on vacation, but the, the last of it is to eat crabs. And this looks great. So we're going to teach Rachel how to crack a crab. Yeah, we got to get a picture with you with all the crabs. Hold on. We said bye to Rachel at the airport. So then I had a turn, which means that I just fly for one day and I return back to Baltimore, my base, and look who I met on my turn. This is Anthony Santander, one of the Baltimore Orioles' best players and one of the best players in the whole league. He was the nicest guy. Anyway, I sent this picture to Brendan and Ryan and their heads pretty much exploded. And speaking of Ryan, he was camping with three of his best friends. So this was us on top of the Seneca Rocks in West Virginia. We climbed all the way up there. You're supposed to have hiking gear, but uh, we kind of just had our bare feet. But this place was absolutely beautiful. The rock wasn't more than 10 feet wide, but we climbed up there. Here is uh, some waterfalls in Shenandoah. That was beautiful. This was on our way up to Seneca Rocks, seeing a bald eagle. Go America. What a beautiful animal. Yeah, that thing is gorgeous. <clears throat> this is in uh, Virginia. These are all the mountains we climbed. Uh, this is about halfway up the big hike. This was at the end of that hike. We got to watch the sunset from the top of Pine Mountain. There's me and EB just enjoying it. That's Mount Rogers in the back. It's the highest point in, West Vir er, in Virginia, which we climbed up to. That was amazing. This is a little horse where we camped in Virginia. There were a bunch of horses just around. This is our favorite one. We all named him Sven. Well, I named him Sven. And uh, look, he just laid down for us. We got to pet him. These horses were really, they were wild horses and they just, they treated us like one of their own. Oh shoot, I just dropped it. Oh, okay. All right, you guys, hold on. Oh, I don't want this to fall in the water. Okay. Heave. Whoa! Heave ho! Heave. You guys, the first time we're putting the sail up on the new sailboat. Okay, there you go, babe. Okay, excellent. Okay. Too far? That's excellent. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. All Positive right. reinforcement. Well. Mike's very good at it. All right, we got the it's sail like a up. Puzzle. It is like a puzzle, you Mike. Know? All right, you guys, we're kind of just learning to sail. Look, it's a mess. Don't look at the boat. It's a mess, Dad. Mike is embarrassed because it's all dirty. We're going to clean it, but first we want to figure all this out. 
All right, you guys, this is my crazy flight schedule for August. And I went to Kansas City for the very first time. Went to Mass there. Austin, this was the view out of my Austin hotel. It was so beautiful at night and then during the day. And getting ready to fly here. And this is the most exciting part. I returned home from my flight and right when I returned home, I ran to the very next gate to meet up with Mike and we got on a plane on our way to Ireland. So stay tuned and watch the next series of videos where Mike and I travel through Ireland. Thanks for watching you guys.